Hey man, this is Gerald Errol Jones. Like the coffee, only spelled different. Uh, my mama named me Errol because she thought it sounded more exotic, but you know, most people don't think that at all. And Jones is spelled G-O-N-E-S for Jones. So uh, we're out here having a good time. Is this mic on? Oh, I don't have to speak into this? Oh. That's what this is for on my beard. We're here in Fillmore, Utah with Fast Company and Zebros Racing, filming for Eastbound and Down, my journey back east to Ironman GNCC. Yeah, we really started talking about it in uh, mid-January, me and my two bosses, Chris and Cole. Um, we just decided, why am I not back out there racing with those guys? It's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, we're in the industry. We, we know everybody. We can make this happen. So um, we contacted, first we contacted Walker Fowler um, to see if we could get a quad from him. He's, he's our boy back there. So um, he obliged, and we got a YFZ ready to go for us. And, so that was taken care of. Walker's awesome. It's already got flex handlebars installed. So we need to make a couple different changes before I went back there. So I was going to be comfortable on it. So I contacted Chris over at Zebros Racing. He's my boy, and uh, we got uh, some exit shocks and some Mars Effects components, the A arms and the linkage going out. And Walker's going to have that installed and ready to go for me, so I can just hop on that thing and go compete with these guys. So I'm super pumped about that. It all turned out awesome. I, I mean, with everybody's support, I couldn't have done it. Right now I'm doing the National Hare and Hound Series, so um, that type of racing is a lot different than the woods racing. Um, usually we're wide open out there, and I know the GNCC, it's a lot more tight, more technical. So, I mean, I don't know how well it's gonna translate when I get out there, you know. I feel like I'm gonna do a good job, but um, who knows? I mean, I'm gonna give it 110, but with how different a riding that is out there, um, they could go either way. And he said, I come from a land down on love. We're being a slow and mentioned love. Can't you hear, can't you hear the thunder? You gotta run, you gotta take cover. So wake me up. We're out here with Colt Brinkerhoff. I taught that kid everything he knows about riding a quad and about life. I mean, we had a good old time out here. We were smoking up some barky, shooting elk and deer, whatever we want, riding quads. You know, it's was, it was great growing up here in Filmer. You know, he's gonna go out there at GNCC and I guarantee him a top five. He ain't gonna take no lip for none of them. Just a top five. <laughs> so wake me up when he's all over. When I'm wiser and I'm older. All this time I was finding myself and I didn't know I was gone. I'm really excited about being up here in Fillmore, my hometown. Fillmore, Utah, to come up here and ride in the woods. I don't get to come back very much, and especially to ride up here, it's awesome. The weather's great right now, and um, and my buddy Gerald even came out. He kind of got me into racing and had the confidence to continue to do it. So it's great having his crazy ass out here, and uh, he's been a good, he's been a hoot already for us. So um, I'm stoked that you'll get to meet him. So wake me up when it's all over.
my expectations are pretty high going into this. You know, I feel kind of highly of myself as a rider, I guess, and I'm confident and I'm looking to at least do a, a top 10 in the pro class in the XC1. And that's, that's what I'm really hoping for. I mean, um, if we do any worse than that, then that's fine. If we, if we do better, that's, that's a bonus, but I just want to go back there and have fun and try something new and just see how well I can hold up against these guys. So I'm pretty excited. We're out here in Fillmore, Utah with uh, Fast Company and Zebros Racing. Eat <laughs> 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 burger. Can you not do that? It's very, uh, it's messed me up. What did I say? It's so good. It's a choice. It's a choice. <laughs> He was always getting the ladies, you know, with that great smile of his and that awesome beard. I, I try to, I try to look real nice for the ladies. You know, I try to, I try to get my brush, my teeth brushed every once in a while down at the dentistry office. It was like Steve McQueen out there on a McLaren F1 going through the freaking woods. That's how fast he was, 16th tap. Check one, check two. We have lost a mic. Are we there? <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs>